Breaking news now. New information out of Snellville in Gwinnett County where a deadly police shooting investigation is underway. Let's get right out to Atlanta News First, Asia Wilson. Asia, you were the first reporter on scene there outside of Piedmont Eastside South Campus. Uh, police say driver showed a gun after a traffic stop and things took a turn. Tell us more about what you're learning. You're exactly right, Megan, and this is all still under investigation, but we do know one man is dead. That's according to Snellville Police. I want you to take a look exactly where we are right now. We are at the intersection of Main Street West at Fountain Drive. It's been active scene for hours. We, again, we were the first crew here on scene after a viewer inside the hospital told us they were told to stay inside at that particular time. But take a look at this video on your screen. All we know is around four this morning, Snellville police conducted a traffic stop here at West Main Street in Fountain Drive. Officers say during the course of the traffic stop, the officer told the driver he was under arrest and ordered him to get out of the car. Police claim when the car door opened, the driver showed a gun and pointed it at his head. Investigators say officers tried to get the driver to put the weapon down, but they allege the driver fired his gun and officers on scene were turned fire. That man died on scene with a gunshot to his head. The only thing I can say is that there was a traffic stop, uh, shots were fired, uh, several officers were involved, none of the officers were injured, and the subject who was driving the vehicle was deceased. A detective here on scene with the Snellville Police Department says um, the man was threatening to shoot himself, but it's unclear whether he was hit by officers or shot himself. There's a lot of information that we're still working to learn. Uh, we do know the, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation has been called to investigate. We've seen them out here on the scene. And actually, I want Jordan to kind of show you right here. You can actually see some of the markings on the ground now where police are act actively moving uh, from, from marker to marker. Actually, GBI is moving from marker to marker investigating. We are working to get more information. As I said, as soon as we learn them, you will be the first to know on air and online. We're live this morning in Snellville. Asia Wilson, Atlanta News First. Now we do see those evidence markers there on the ground and again, right outside of a hospital. So a uh, very busy area there. Asia, thank you. To breaking news now out of Roswell, where police say a man is in critical condition after officers shot him inside of a bar this morning. It happened just after 1 a.m. at the Mazzy Sports Bar and Grill on Alfreda Highway. Police say a 34-year-old was being unruly and pointing a gun at people. They say an officer shot the man just inside the front doors when he refused to put down the gun. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation is also handling this investigation. I-20 eastbound in Harrelson County is still shut down this morning, hours after a police shooting right near the Alabama state line. This is what it looks like right now. Uh, there has just been a backup for hours now. We watch this section of I-20 just creep along. GDOT estimates the highway will reopen at 11 o'clock. The Harrelson County Sheriff's Office says its deputies were involved in a shootout with a suspect that started with a chase that started in Birmingham, Alabama. The chase crossed into Georgia around 4 a.m. They say the driver spun out and started shooting at law enforcement. They returned fire. They have not provided an update at this point on the suspect's condition, but they do say there is no threat to the public. But this traffic alert related to this investigation, you need to know you can see I-20 eastbound there in Harrelson County at a standstill.